Liberty men's basketball. A couple of home games coming up this week, Thursday against High Point and Saturday against Charleston Southern. Here to give us an update on the team is junior guard Ethan Layer. And Ethan, this team is improving. Statistically, you look at the last four or five games, when you see the improvement you guys have made, despite not winning in the conference, what do you see on moving the needle in a positive direction? Yeah, we're definitely fighting through adversity. Um, obviously, we haven't put everything together, um, but we're continuing to fight, continuing to believe in each other, continuing to come together as a team, and um, that's all we can control. Um, try to start getting some wins, that's for sure. Yeah, and it very well could happen this week, Thursday. High Point comes to town. John Brown, one of the best players in the league. How difficult is it for teams to stop him? Yeah, he's a he's an animal out there. Um, we've, we've seen him for three years now, me, Drew, Tomas. Um, so, yeah, he's an animal. Uh, we're setting up a game plan in order to stop him. I think we're in place to do a good job, but we know how uh, dangerous he can be. Last two or three games, Ethan, this team has defied odds and made big comebacks in the second half. What has your team learned about those situations, specifically Radford, where you cut the deficit down to eight down the stretch? Yeah, it shows good character that we keep fighting. Obviously, we don't want to get in those holes, and that's what, that's what we're really trying to sharpen up, not getting in those holes, so we have to um, have desperate measures. With Tomas and Joe being on the shelf right now, what types of cheerleaders are those guys from the bench? Yeah, they've, been, they've done a great job um, handling it the right way, staying positive with us, at the same time getting in us, um, being good leaders, being vocal. Um, even though they're not out there on the court, they still have a great presence on our team, and we do miss them a lot. Um, but they've, they're, they've really uh, done a great job being leaders on and off the court. Defensively, what are some things you like to see this team shore up, Ethan? Defensively, we just need to really just come down on the little things. Um, that goes with boxing them out, especially with John Brown being a, a very heavy rebounder. we got to make sure we keep a body on him, um, find an open shooters um, in transition. They have a four-man who really can shoot. Um, so finding him and uh, making sure we keep him off the glass and um, keep him to one possession will be key. It seems like first half of the league season, a lot of games on the road, but it's evening out now with some games coming up here at home. What's it like playing here in front of the home folk and uh, sleeping in your own bed for a change? Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Um, the fans here are great, uh, give us a lot of energy, so hopefully we can capitalize on that and uh, get, get something rolling here. All right, we well, hope so too, Ethan. Thanks for the time. Appreciate it. That's junior guard Ethan Lair. I'm Alan York for Liberty Flame Sports Network.